guys. Uh, about to put one of these on my, my new truck here. My Ram 3500. Uh, just a tailgate assist. Uh, yeah, I got this one. Normally, the uh, so these newer Rams have it already built in. Uh, this one and the other one that they had on the lot when I got these uh, wasn't uh, wasn't an option. It's a uh, it's a 2019 3500 Bighorn, uh, but these things are like 20 bucks. So you can actually go and get the dealer or the OEM stuff, which is expensive as hell. But I've had these on just about every truck that I that I've owned. Uh, and they work really good and they're pretty cheap so I've never had a problem out of them really easy to install uh, first thing you got to do is uh, pop your cable off here lift up on your tailgate because uh, this has got to come out actually I pull the whole cable off you don't really need to but there's a tab if you come around here they, they tell you to, to beat this tab down because uh, it's a limit it only lets your cable move so much so once this is on there, you'll see uh, the shock itself, you need this cable to be able to move freely. So instead of trying to beat it flat there and mess everything up, I usually just pull it out real quick and uh, beat it flat on my vise over there. That way I don't put any goofy dents in my truck. And just remember the orientation where that goes. But So this is the actual locking side of it. Uh, and that's the side that you got to beat flat once you get it out. So just grab yourself a hammer. <laughs> I got some uh, some Nipix pliers that I use. The, the flat build pliers like this work really good too. To kind of start getting it flat, you can just squeeze it. And it gets it to the point where you can just smack it with a small ball peen hammer on the vise and uh, It'll flatten right out for you, and then you don't have to worry about it. Done. Flat. And then you can put this piece back on, and that half of it's done. Uh, just run your bolt back down through there. This is the locking piece, so, which, I mean, technically you could probably just leave it off because it's not really locking anything in place, but uh, it does act like a, a bit of a spacer, if you will brings uh, the cable head just a little further out uh, yeah probably about the hardest thing on this to do is um, and it ain't even hard because they give you everything you need to do it just like that snug her up she's good to go all right now the top piece up here has got to come out as well because uh, your one brackets gonna go underneath there and then you're gonna run a rib nut uh, down at the bottom and then that'll be the two attach points for your uh, for your actuator and they actually do supply uh, some blue Loctite in the kit uh, but I've never had a problem with these damn things falling out so but we'll put a little blue Loctite back on them I mean you can tell it had a little Loctite on it when it was put in from the factory so we'll put some Loctite back in on that bad boy and actually on my older truck um, this had to come off too so I'm gonna hold off on that for a minute because I my other one was higher so I don't know that 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 may need to come off uh, this will sit in there just like that so it may hit it but we'll see so rib nut wise they give you everything you need they give you everything that you need to to install it and basically uh, it's going to be kind of tight over here it's a five millimeter allen and uh, a ten millimeter wrench you got to get it in this hole over here and that's going to allow you to attach your other bracket here so I kind of see where this thing lines up at I know where to put the rib nut and it's right about center on there and you might have to knock this in a little bit it's kind of a tight fit but once it's in there like I said it's a 10 millimeter that holds it and then as you spin your 5 millimeter here actually let me grab an extension real quick 
Once you spin the five millimeter bolt on the top, it'll pull that rib nut tight. You just gotta be careful not to over tighten it. You get a little bit of an extension. Just give me some room to hold it. So once you get this thing set in there, then you, you hold it in place and tighten your nut down and uh, get your rib nut set. This is, like I said, this is a, like the, the worst part of it, just because you can't work. You got much room in here. So I'll get this rib nut set and then... Uh, I'll show you guys how to, uh, how to do the rest of it really quick. Cut it again, man. All right, guys, once you get your rib nut set, you just want to make sure it's flat up against the, uh, the side of the uh, tailgate there and it's flush and, and everything's good to go. Uh, but, yeah, like that's the toughest part, like I was saying. So once you get that set, that's the tool there. So... If you guys don't know how a uh, rib, rib nut tool works, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, the nut was further down, so you set your distance. So the nut was all the way down there, like that on this when I, when I shoved it in there. And then you use your wrench and tighten the nut while you're holding uh, the Allen head there. And it, it pulls this out, and as it's pulling it out, it pulls the rib nut tight inside there. So... Uh, yeah, it's nothing to it. Takes a minute or two. Get uh, get you some of your little Loctite here. I will Loctite that nut. Get this cut open. Why is it always cold outside when we're doing something? Why do you like it's cold? Put a little blue Loctite on this. This should be... Uh, uh, number five Allen as well. Same open. Ooh, it is. It's just kind of cold. Be bad when your Loctite is cold. I'll just do that. Put a little on there. That'll, that'll work. This thing, like I said, sits down here. See the hole there. Get it started. It's a five millimeter two. Gotta keep it centered there. I think it's a five millimeter. It's not, it's a different size. Let me see what size it is. We're coming out here. Let's go see if we can find a taxi. Are you recording? Figures it wouldn't be the same size. It's a four millimeter with the, the supplied bolt that they give you. So just want to run that down. Like I said, it's got a little Loctite on it. Don't bang your tail light like I just did. Crack it. And again. And again. So you can see that fits. Um, it fits snug around the mounting point where. Uh, where your tailgate mounts that's it as long as it's flush you are good to go i'm gonna give that a little more that's it so that's the bottom part top part even easier bolt goes right through there you put this thing right back on Bad when your Loctite's all cold. Set this bad boy back in there and tighten her up.
she's nice and tight. Check this again. She's nice and tight. Uh, like I said, that's pretty much the gist of it. You throw your uh, your actuator on, I throw your cable back on, and then we'll see what we got. They say the bigger end of this should uh, uh, should be down here on this end. So your arm goes up here, and this just pushes into place. There's a little. Uh, lever in there a uh, little clamp in there that catches it this thing's pretty stout pretty stout little uh little actuator here to catch those tailgates and that's it and this goes back on and then we should be able to close it and see what's what here slide this stuff out of the way Let's see what we got i don't know that 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 might be in the way uh, there's a little plastic piece here too that they give you to kind of keep your cable from getting uh, bound up, I guess. Uh, you know, I've never used it. The cables have always been fine. Yeah, that rubber piece will keep it. So obviously the actuator works just fine. That's the way it's supposed to open. But that rubber piece uh, keeps it to where... Uh, the actuator can't lay flat enough here, so it's gonna it's gonna have to come off. And it's just a little push pin. <laughs> that you can pull out. Just a little plastic push pin. Actually I think I got the the rubber piece out of my other truck. Still laying in my toolbox. This may not, oh yeah, there it goes. It's just one of those little plastic push pins. Okay. Once you get the uh, the screw part out, there you go. It just pushes in there. This whole piece of pop right out. Just a plastic push pin. That's all it is center pushes it in and locks it down in the hole that's it close and lock just fine now yep plenty of room works like a champ look at that that's all there is to it not much else take all the 10 minutes to do it like I said I don't know I got this on Amazon um, Everyone I've ever bought I've gotten on Amazon really uh, DZ tailgate assist they make them for all the different trucks, so I don't know uh, If you like it go check them out like I said, they're like 20 bucks So you can't you can't go wrong if you don't have one of these and, and having this uh, Definitely saves uh, your tailgate from slamming down and stuff so Good to go